Hi guys, it's me again, Barnaby Slater for Spurred On, and it is the morning after the night before. Did you guys stay up till four o'clock in the morning to watch the All-Star game? I certainly did, and I'm gonna do my post-match review. My overall thoughts are, Loads and loads of positives for Spurs. Yes, we lost the game 2-1. Yes, Nasser Chadley decided to try and catch a football in his own pen penalty box. But in terms of the overall game, I thought the performances were absolutely magnificent. I thought we looked like we had a plan again. The pressing was high. Uh, lots of commitment in the tackle, really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through the players and let you know how I thought they did one to 11. Starting with uh, Michelle Vaughan. Didn't really have a lot to do. Good penalty from Kaka. Nothing he could have done about that. And uh, the second goal, good finish from David Villa. His distribution looks good. He will be an able backup for lovely, beautiful, handsome Hugo Lloris. But Hugo will, of course, come straight back in when he's fit again. At right back, Kyle Walker, and then replaced at halftime by Kieran Trippier. This is one of the most interesting parts from the game, I think, because Kyle Walker did what Kyle Walker does. He looked okay on the ball, he got forward, but didn't really deliver anything uh, positive in terms of crosses and making chances. Now, when Kieran Trippier came on, rarely have I been so uh, impressed by someone on their debut. His crossing was absolutely magnificent. He looked defensively really sound, and I really do think that Kyle Walker might have a problem in terms of getting into that first 11. I don't know who's going to play against Man United on the first day. It'll be interesting in the Audi Cup to see who gets the nod against Real Madrid. Centre-backs, Toby and, and uh, uh, Jan, the Belgian double act. Toby looked really good, took up some great positions when we had the ball, giving people options to get it back and defensively very sound. Super Jan was Super Jan, laid back all the time. Good defender. Looks like he's going to be really happy alongside his countrymen. Left back Ben Davis, very impressed by him. Thought he played very well in the first half. He was replaced by Danny Rose, who made an incredible sliding recovery tackle that stopped a third goal for the MLS All Stars. So I think Danny will get the nod again, but Ben Davis pushing him all the time for a place. Now, defensive midfield, uh, a new experiment from Mopo there. Uh, Eric Dyer playing DMC. He looked solid, he got tired very quickly, which I guess. Makes sense as he's not used to playing in such an energetic role, getting up and down. Uh, but yeah, I think he looks like he could be an option alongside Bentaleb, who was fantastic. He gives me the horn, you know he does. What a player, what a passer. So, uh, the three behind the front man, uh, Moussa Dembele. Great game on the right, I thought. Really good, made me think, let's definitely not sell him. He's so strong on the ball, and I think if he were to play on the right, he could really push Lamella for that spot, uh, Lamella and Townsend, because uh, he's hard to shake off the ball, and cutting in on his left, uh, he looked really dangerous. Uh, Christian Eriksen, Christian Eriksen, what a player. Our most talented player, I think, realistically. I don't think he's going anywhere. Nasser Chadley, as I said earlier, he didn't have his best game, but there was one run he made in the second half where he was through in on goal that just showed how dangerous he is. He really can be like uh, absent for a lot of the game and you think, oh, what's he doing, what's he doing other than giving away a penalty? And then he makes one run and nearly scores and that's how he got 10 goals in the league last season. So a great squad player at least, I do think he'll probably start. And then of course, Harry Kane has a Kazza up front. What a terrific player we've got on our hands, guys. Unbelievable. He gets in amazing positions, makes brilliant runs, and he had like four or five uh, chances saved in the first half by the keeper, uh, Remando, what a name, by the way. Uh, but he never goes missing, Harry Kane. He never gets worried about missing chances, and then he just had that chance where he went one-on-one -on -one with the keeper uh, and a defender in front of him, sorry, and just whacked it into the top left-hand corner. What a player. One season wonder, absolutely no chance. In terms of the other guys who came on, in the second half of the second half, it was like the under 10s out there. We've got such a talented squad of academy graduates. Uh, the future is so bright. Anoma looked really positive. Winks looked great on the ball. Tom Carroll came on and did well. Be interesting to see how he does. But the star for me, Dele Ali played the second half. And I genuinely think that Ali and Bentaleb could be the future of our midfield for years to come. They're athletes, they're great on the ball, they want it all the time, and they play those little passes in between the lines, into your Ericsons, into Dembele, into Chadley, and really hard to defend against. I was so impressed with Dele Alli, really excited to see how he comes on. I think in a couple of years, he'll bulk up like Bale did after he joined us, and he could be a proper player for us. Anyway, that was my post-match review of the All-Star game. Yes, we lost 2-1, but so many positives that it doesn't really matter. Rolling on to the Audi Cup, Real Madrid next uh, Tuesday, I think it is. We're gonna be there. Let us know if you're gonna be there, and we'll talk to you before and after the game at Spurred On. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred On TV, and we'll see you next time. Well, here's my unbiased, fair, neutral review of that quote, Sol Campbell. You can go and 
yourself, you mother piece of